salutations to those who are young and young at heart. Oremi, Madame Fo. Enyi, salam alaikum. Hola, buena gente. Bonjour, la gente. Linja, du melang. Murigaboto, muliwanji. Murigaboto, makadin. Karibu, makaitawani, makaitawani. Munotambere. Welcome to Black USDA online platform. This is a place where your soul will find rest. Did you know every Wednesday and Friday at 6.15 p.m. we have consistent midweek prayers. Not only that, during the day from Monday to Friday, if you need a soulful song, please tune into our platform and indeed you'll find rest for your soul. On Sabbath, which is Saturday, we have services from 8.30 right up to 6 p.m. What do you expect to find? We have got the church at study, Sabbath school, music, it's story, story time. Even our little ones, the children, will find solace on Blafu online worship platforms. Yes, not only are they going to receive a powerful sermon for them, but including the songs, and they'll sing the songs of Zion in the comfort of your home. Yes, you are waiting for the power hour as we receive the beautiful words, the wonderful words that come from the word of God. In the afternoon, we have got powerful discussions, not only for the young, but even for the old, as we prepare this journey on this planet and before the sundown yes there is a sermon that will usher you into the new week as you listen to god speak to you what are you waiting for tell your friends about it don't forget to join us on youtube and facebook like our page and subscribe to our youtube channel god bless you as we meet on bluff you online worship class There shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing we need. Drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead, there shall be showers of blessing, precious reviving again over the hills and the valleys. Sound of abundance of rain. Shall Shall be showers of blessing, send them upon us, O oh Lord. Grant us now a refreshing, come and I'll honor the word. Showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Drums round us are falling, but for the showers we plead, they shall be showers of blessing. All oh, that today they might fall, now as to God we confess, sing, now as on Jesus we call. Shall Drops round us a fall.
Blessed day unto you all, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He who knows and understands all things, he is who is with you no matter the condition you are in, no matter the time you are in, may he come through for you. I am uh, taken back to a man who was sick for 38 years. When we find this man, we find him at a particular place, going through a particular predicament. As he sits and waits for a certain time where the waters are troubled. I'm speaking about a man whom we find at the pool of Bethesda. Our title topic is entitled, Don't Lose Hope. No matter what you're going through, don't lose hope so we are seeing that there is a man who is at the side of this pool and as he waits he waits for a certain particular period whereby the waters are troubled but on this particular day something unique is about to happen he has been bedridden for 38 years going through an infirmity he is looking for someone to help him. His condition is not that one could say, man, tomorrow you'll be well. So as he is sleeping there, there is someone that is gazing and looking upon him. And when this happens, the gentleman comes towards him. We are going to look at the book of John chapter 5 from verse 1 to verse 11. That's where we are going to end. So as we read down, we're going to start from verse 1 to 5. It says, Now a certain man was there who had infirmity for 38 years. This man was at the pool of Bethesda. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time, he said unto him, do you want me to make you well? This man is sitting, they don't know each other. He is looking at this man being asked a question to say, Do you want me to make you well? In other words, in me is wellness and out of me there is no wellness. In me dwells everything and out of me comes more things than you ever think. As he is sitting there and gazing upon the man who is asking the question, his answer puzzles me. The question is, do you want me to make you well? His answer could have been a yes or a no. But because of the condition he was in, he decides to give him a bit of history because he is seeing that this man has come, but has come at a time where the waters had just been troubled. He is seeing the, the goodness of the man that is asking him, do you want me to make you well? And he says, let me tell him history. He says in verse 7, the sick man answered, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool. When the water is stirred up, but while I am coming, another steps upon me. In other words, when I just want that change, people walk upon me. I'm speaking to someone right now. Whereby when... You try to do something, people walk upon you. Some even ridicule you and say, what have you done? I could have done better than you. Some people bring you down and say, you are good for nothing. But God makes you good for something. 
Some people look at you and say you are useless, but God says you are useful. The man was there in a state where hope had to be built. My brother, my sister, I'm saying to you, don't lose hope. No matter the condition that people look at you and bring you down, don't lose hope. The Lord is looking upon you and says, what do you want me to do? The man is giving history to say, I am in need. Whereby whoever comes by, they walk upon me. And when they walk upon me, I become useless. The man is saying when people come, when the tub, when the waters are troubled and people come by, I just become nothing but paralyzed. I'm speaking to someone. When you look at yourself, don't ever write yourself off. Because as long as the Lord says, you are his, you are his indeed. You are going through monetary issues and are looking at, down upon yourself and are saying, where will I make this end meet? God is there. No matter what you are facing, God is there. Someone right now is suffering. Someone right now doesn't know where to make the ends meet. Someone right now has just received a message to say, so and so has covered. The Lord is there. When, God, when he is giving Christ the history of what happens to him, he is saying, perhaps in future, you may come to my rescue. You know, no matter what you face, I'm going to go into the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 1. No matter what you face, there is something I want you to know, and there's something I want you to hear. Isaiah 59, verse 1 says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. In other words, behold, the Lord can hear you. He can save you only if you call upon him. He can come through for you only if you say, Lord, I had lost hope. I had lost everything. I come to you in need. And I come to you knowing that you are able to save me. It says, continue to say, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save. You know when people say something about you, that is so painful and hurtful. He is there. His ear hears. No matter the distance. No matter the place. No matter the time. It says here. No, his every ear that it cannot hear. When someone is crying. When someone is in pain. No matter what you go through. And no matter how much you call, he's able to hear. A songwriter says, someone's calling my Lord, come by here. Someone is praying my Lord, come by here. He will come by. For he loves and cares for you. He neither wants to see you in pain, nor grieving. Tears are a language, another writer says. God understands. In the book again, the book of Psalms, chapter 55, the verses 22, it says, Cast your burdens on the Lord. For, uh, sorry, cast your burdens on the Lord and he shall sustain you. What is it that you are facing? Now, I imagine this man, 38 years and his hope could have been lost. 30, imagine, 
You've been waiting for something for a long time. You've been counting on something for a long time. And now hope has been lost. I say to you, don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. The Lord is coming through. As we shall quickly conclude, it says in verse 8, Jesus said to him, Rise, take your bed and walk. Now imagine this. This man has been just speaking his, the history of what has been going on. Now in my imagination, I said to myself, this man could have said, this gentleman doesn't understand me. I don't even know what I'm speaking. I've just told him just now that I've been waiting for these waters to be troubled and someone to put me in because what I am going through, people are stepping upon me and there is no one to help me. You know, he could have said to you, but do you not understand what I have just told, what I have just spoken to you? Do you not get what I have just come from saying to say, look, gentlemen, I have been waiting here for the waters to be troubled and you are telling me something else. But here touches me the most. When he hears the words of this man, he looks around and he sees that this man could have gone to that one, but he has come to me. This man could have gone to that one, but he has come to me. And he is telling me to take my bed and walk. He doesn't wait a moment. He doesn't think to say, ah, let me do it in a later while and try and see if this, what has just been spoken, can happen. He takes action. In other words, his faith goes up than anything else. Now, listen to verse 9. And it says, and immediately the man was made well. Why? Because faith came into him and action was supposed to take place whereby he took his bed. In other words, he had to make action for him to notice that how this thing works is not by sitting but by doing. Now what you are going through needs faith and faith needs action. What do I mean? Faith must show that in whom I believe there is no utter doubt within. That I do not doubt because I know my Redeemer liveth and I know he comes through. Because what I have heard in the book of Isaiah 59 verse 1 says, His hand is not short to save me, neither is his ear far to hear me, and I know that he'll come through. What do I need to do? The man says, I will take my bed and walk. That day was the Sabbath. We will not go into that one. But he answered what God had spoken to him about. I want to close now. What is it that you are facing? What are the challenges you are meeting? This man at the pool of Bethesda, 38 years, he was trying to get a healing. We are, just, we are not told of the timeline whereby for how long has he been at the pool, but we are told of his infirmity for 38 years, being paralyzed. Some of us speak of something one year, two years, three years, months, days, hours. He could have lost hope on his 37th. He could have lost hope on his 36th. Now imagine a year has days. Every day. But on a particular day, when he, we don't know whether he was 38 years old, but what we know is he had been sick for 38 years. But at this moment in time, 
when he was speaking to this great man, a man who knew him whilst he was in his mother's womb, a man who knew his now to his future, so is this great man today. He is saying, don't worry, I'm here, don't lose hope. Someone is failing to balance things. Someone is wondering, where will my rent come from? Someone is wondering, where will I get food to feed my kids or myself? Someone is asking themselves that I am going through, going through something and I need someone. And the Lord is saying, I am here. It is time to say, my faith looks up to thee. O Lord God of Calvary. It is time to say, I must have the Savior with me. Because with him, we can go and overcome. At this moment in time, I want to pray and say, let us pray together. I too myself, I mean, man, at times I lose hope. At times I even ask myself, will this not end? Will this, what that I'm going through, where, you know, at times you ask yourself, do people not see that I'm hurting where others say the worst about you? But I know that God has the best for me. Because as long as he's not put the full stop at the end of the sentence, I know that he is the one that will make things well. My brother, my sister, my father, my mother, don't lose hope even in any hopeless situation that you are in, don't lose hope. No matter what you are facing, don't lose hope. Let us pray. Our oh, blessed Lord and Father, in this hopeless condition and in this hopeless time, we are facing a lot of things that even the hope that lies within us becomes tattered and torn. We are faced with different calamities, faced with different challenges. Help us and be with us. Lead us and never forsake us. May you be our constant aid and our constant companion. Always there to save us and not to see us in shame. Be with us now and forevermore, I pray. Amen.